talking to Anna. Please welcome all the way to the microphone, Jack Hester. How are we doing, guys? The Irish men are getting smaller. <laughs> the next fella on is a leprechaun. <laughs> but uh, ever since the Brexit thing, right, everyone's asking me, what is the history between Britain and Ireland, right? And it's like this. Ireland was always this wild, sexy woman. <laughs> and Britain was always a nice, respectable, middle-class man. And Ireland used to go up to Britain and be all like, hey, big boy, do you want to come over here and put a bit of manners on me? And Britain was all over Ireland like Ireland was an underage prostitute and Britain was a drunk Prince Andrew. And Ireland was like kicking Britain in the balls and Britain was like, fuck you, you mad bitch. I'm cutting all ties with you, right? But he kept the fucking phone number. <laughs> and every so often, 3 a.m., little text message. Hey, babe, how are you? And do you know why he kept the phone number? Because Ireland was the best blowjob this country ever had. <laughs> And you never forget your best blowjob. You, sir, what's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Do you remember your best blowjob? Yeah. Who did you give it to, Nathan? <laughs> you can't beat the old switcheroo, huh? <laughs> but uh, have you ever seen this thing, right? In Japan, they have this thing called overwork sudden death syndrome, right? There's people in Japan that work so hard, they push themselves so much at work that they just drop dead <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> well, I tell you something for nothing. We don't have to worry about anybody dying from overwork sudden death syndrome working in the fucking bar in here. Fuck me, bar service in this country is shite. <laughs> Do you ever walk into the bar and they're all really good looking and you think, well, they've all been hired for the wrong fucking reason. <laughs> you go to Witherspoons across the road there, service isn't too bad. Bar staff ugly as fuck. <laughs> you know? I was in a toilet in a bar the other day and had a sticker above the sink. Caution, very hot water. Someone went to the owner of that bar and said, there's boiling water coming out of the tap. We need to get a plumber. And he went, fuck that, we'll get a sticker. <laughs> no wonder the country is fucked. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever seen this thing, though, that the politicians do, where they pretend to be like normal people, right? So David Cameron was a master at this, right? He pretended to like football and he pretended to watch Game of Thrones, right? Theresa May was fucking terrible at it. <laughs> she was asked what was the naughtiest thing she ever did. <laughs> and she said she ran through a fucking field. <laughs> that is not relatable. <laughs> she should have said that one New Year's Eve, she snorted a line of ketamine, <laughs> thinking it was cocaine, <laughs> and she ended up in a K-hole for the countdown. <laughs> and then the whole country be like, oh, would you look, she's just like the rest of us. <laughs> But Boris is the best at it, right? Because Boris pretends to be a high-functioning alcoholic <laughs> who could not give a fuck <laughs> about his job. <laughs> and there's nothing more relatable <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> 
and Corbyn, the fucking amateur, running around the country pretending to be a nice, decent fella. Does he know nothing about the British people? He would have had a better chance if he told people he was on the sex offenders register.